Hey, if you are using MATLAB the same boring way, then here is the chance to give a new look to your MATLAB. You can customize so many things in MATLAB. You can change color, style, font, font type, font size. So many things can be customized in MATLAB. So in this video, I'm going to show you that thing. So without wasting time, let's get started. Okay, so this is the dashboard of our MATLAB and uh, here you can see workspace, current folder, editor, command window, so many things you can see on the dashboard. So this video is specially for appearance and in order to work with appearance, first you need to go to this home tab and in home tab you need to go to this environment. So whatever we are going to do in this video, everything will be from this environment. First quickly I will show you how to adjust the layout and then we will jump to the next and important section. In layout there are varieties of layout you can select it from here it is default layout and then there are so many types of layout. This is my layout because I like to arrange everything like this so it's my layout. If you want to set your required layout you can very easily set it. First thing you need to do is just arrange everything the way you want and then go to layout and then save your layout name it i have named it as my layout you can name it as the way you want so save it and just in one click you can rearrange everything the way you want right then here command history i have undocked it we can even dock it so it shows whatever command we have used earlier right if you wish you can use it otherwise you can remove it and now we'll go for background color changing font color changing font style changing Right, so that customization can be done through this preferences. So let's go to preferences. In preferences, go to this colors tab. So first thing is desktop tool color. Here you can change the system color. It is by default, it uses systems color, right, which is like this. If you want to change it, just unclick it and you can set the text color. Right now it is white. You can see over here all this text are white and the background is black. Once I apply it, all the changes will be applicable over here. So you can see the background has changed to black and all the fonts. The code that I have written that changed to white. Even I can change the font color if I want, uh, let's say blue. Then apply, then it's changed to blue. Let's make it white again apply it's white even you can change the background color right so there are varieties of things you can do with this right i just prefer system default right the next is syntax highlighting color it shows important keyword string system command and validation sections for example, any loop function, this for and and, it's an important keyword, right? So that is keyword for that loop. So that will be in blue color. Why? Because it is set blue from here. You can make it purple. So you can see here, it is purple now, right? So if any point of time, if you have any confusion that whatever changes I'm going to make, exactly how it will look. So in this section, you can see how it will appear. Then string, it is the string that we have written. You can change color from the string, right? It's changed. You can make it even black, right? So whatever color you want to make, you can make it from here. Now this is string, unterminated string. Unterminated string means you have did a comma, but you have not terminated that string with comma. So the color of that string will be brown. That gives you indication that it is not yet terminated. And to terminate is that is very important. So through this color combination, MATLAB indirectly giving us so much of hints, right? That there is still something is missing. So with this color code, we can have some idea about our program, whether the syntax is appropriate or not. Here it is the comment. Comment is generally green and you can change any color from here. One more thing. If you do not like this color combination, you can go to more colors and you have now varieties of color. It is not limited to this much of varieties of color. You can go to this sections and in this RGB, you can give the color code, the exact precise color if you want. You can set that exact precise color by giving this color code. Isn't it interesting and fantastic? 
right so close it and the next is matlab command window color the error will be appeared as red you can see here you can make it blue right here it shows blue color let's make it red again hyperlink over here the hyperlink is presented you can make it white see here the hyperlink black whatever colors hyperlink you want to make you make it from here right warning text it is orange you can change it the way you want right so all this customization can be done i do not want to apply this customization so what i'll do i'll just cancel it and we'll go to preferences again how to set matlab color preferences that we have understood now we'll go for the font preferences for that you need to go to font and here you can customize the fonts in that you can go to this customize tab and you will have all the varieties of tabs this is your profile if you want to change the font style in profile then you can set it from here it's for command window first i will do it for editor the rest of the thing is same for all right so you go to editor you can use desktop code desktop text it will take by default font size and font style but if you want to customize this just click on customize and here you have varieties of font let's change any font to lemon so this is how the font looks like you can set lemon plain bold italic bold italic whatever you want you can set the font size from here right and apply it so here you can see in editor we have changed the font to lemon let's make it cambria again i like cambria especially so i use that font only in current folder so this is our current folder so in current folder this is desktop text if you want to customize it just select and let's make it lemon again apply so here you can see it's lemon right let's make it default again so in workspace in variable in command window wherever you want to change the font you can set that font property from here the color of font that can be set from this color preferences for your code for string for syntax the color can be set from this color preferences and the other font parameters like font style and font size can be set from here let me just quickly change the font size so that you can have idea about this it's 36 many times it happens that you want to sit back relaxing and then work on your code in that condition if the font size is larger that would help a lot so this is how you can set color and font preferences for matlab there are so many videos available on matlab tutorials for beginner or for intermediate level person if you want to learn those things you can refer this playlist of matlab tutorials so until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye